Well, when I first started studying about Nansen Ravja, not that many people had actually known about his legacy and what he had done. Um, over the last 10 years, more of his life story has come out into the Mongolian public. So more books in Mongolian have been written about his life and more Mongolians are starting to understand his important role uh, in the history of, of Mongolia. And now I think people understand that he really was a, a genius and he, he was a, a poet and a playwright and he founded um, schools and libraries and museums and Mongolians are just starting to understand how important that was in their history because during the communist period uh, really none of this was known. His, most of his legacy was just kind of whitewashed. So I think now it does play an important role. I think that he is becoming a sort of cultural icon, an important um, cultural uh, figure in Mongolian history and I think that a lot of Mongolians uh, read his books and read his poetry and continue to want to learn more. And uh, Hamrin Hed as well is a sort of spiritual place. It's become known as a spiritual center and Shambhala itself attracts many pilgrims. So when I first went down there, there really was nobody visiting at all. But now I think if you go down, you'll see many groups of Mongolian people going to Shambhala to absorb its energy and to learn about the place and to, to understand more about Buddhism.